for Mason Greenwood to hold talks with Thomas Tuchel before making his official decision on whether he will play for Jamaica or England. So welcome back, people, to MG Sports TV. Thank you very much again for tuning in. We have a quite an interesting story here, an interesting development um, to discuss is surrounding Mason Greenwood. And we all know that Mason Greenwood, at this present moment, is a player that the Reggae Boys um, <clears throat> staff, our coaching team, or the Reggae Boys, the JFF, is looking at to bring in to represent us um, at the international level. But his future is actually winning the balance here, here, England. Jamaica, England, Jamaica is still uncertain to the decision that he wants to make. So I've now recently seen an article coming out, a big, big story coming out, I should say, a big, big story coming out about Mason Greenwood wanted to have a discussion with Thomas Tuchel before going on and make a decision. With, I do believe that a lot of Jamaicans will have mixed, inter, uh, mixed, I should I say, mixed feelings, opinions on the situation but we'll touch on that we'll also touch on the article we'll also most definitely touch on that so before we do that please do hit let's do the youtube stuff by you hitting the like button hitting the subscribe button as well we thoroughly appreciate it if you guys do so and thank you very much again for the continued support here on mg sports tv so let me just get straight into the article um i'm just going to read this one from the, um, the observer most definitely the same article basically the same rhetoric things that's just written over and over but let me just read from it first of all mr green to speak with england boss before making reggae boys switch report there is something i want to discuss as well because i knew <laughs> There's something I want to discuss. I'd, I'd just, just stick around. Stick around until after I finish reading, reading the article. I give my two cents and then I'm going to go a little bit in the discussion surrounding the situation. All right. So, let's go. Messi Greenwood plans to speak to England head coach Thomas Tuchel to ascertain his chance of being a part of the national team before making a decision about switching his allegiance to Jamaica, according to the media reports. The Sun reported that while Tuchel will not um, take over the England team until until January 1st, Greenwood is hoping that a change of bosses could see him representing the team on a senior level. However, according to reports, if this is not possible, the Olympic Marseille star plans to accept reggae boys coach Steve McLaren's invitation to play for Jamaica. It was reported in August that Greenwood began the process of switching allegiance to the reggae boys. However, it was not confirmed that this was completed. Um, so there's also a, a, a connected article that is, they're telling us basically theory that English player Macy Greenwood starts process, um, and that's different. That's different. A different article. So maybe I'll touch on that another time. Let me continue. According to the Sun, the 22-year international future has been in limbo following the attempted such such um, and assault and co um, coercive, um, coercive be behavior. Um, charges he faced in January 2020, 2022. The judges have been since dropped. Um, the Sun reported that a source told him that Mason is aware of his chances of playing for England, but his hope is to play in the World Cup. Mason knows his chances of playing for England again are very slim, but he wants to check with the FA and Tuchel, and now he has begun. Um, now he has been appointed to see what they think. He's determined to play at the highest level, and that means the World Cup. So if England don't want him, he'll switch to Jamaica <clears throat> and try to get to the 2020 World Cup that 2026 World Cup that way. The source reported the Tone Sun report, Greenwood, Greenwood qualifies to play for the Reggae Boys through his Jamaican-born father. Jamaica last qualified for World Cup 1998. Uh, you know, some little rhetoric. <clears throat> All right, so that covers where the article is concerned. So... Key points, key points where the article is concerned is just that he wants to speak with the England boss, the new, up, newly appointed England boss, about his chances of making it to the national setup. Now, let me make you understand this. First of all, from my opinion, this is my opinion, 
I strongly believe that he has little to no chances of making it to the England team. Now, the, 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 or should I say 99% chance? Na it was a 99% no to not making the England chance. Um, England squad, England senior squad. The 1% chance was solely down to who would have been appointed as the England manager. No, the England FA was actually waiting around to, to, um, for their selection because there was talks about um, Marino, talks about Pep Guardiola, to, and then Thomas Tuchel came in the picture, and also Graham Potter was there as well. No, the issue here is if, if the coach would have been an English coach, coach in England, there is a no, total no-no for Mason Greenwood. Now that he's a foreign coach, the chances are he would want to speak with uh, um, Thomas Tuchel before making his decision to get official confirmation from Thomas Tuchel that A is a Miss Grid is a no no in that sense. Now let me let's let's look at this. There is a there was in Mason Greenwood camp, there was hope that it was between Pep Guardiola, who they, according to reports, might step down from the Manchester City job coming this end um, coming at the end of this um season. It would have been there was hope that it would have been Pep Guardiola or Jose Moreno. Why is that so? Um they wanted those coaches because those coaches are the high profile coaches that no one can dictate to and because no one can dictate to these types of coaches they they, they would believe that he's performing well and because he's performing well they would um he would be added to the to, to the um to the roster through the aspect of these coaches can stand on their own feet and no one can really dictate to them what to do and how to do things so the mere fact that now Thomas Tuchel is in the job, one, the one, the biggest aspect that goes against Thomas Tuchel is that he's a foreign coach. Now, the other two coaches that were mentioned are foreign coaches as well, but the profile of those other two coaches are actually of the profile of um, bosses. They stand, when they, when they stand on their decision, no one can too dictate certain things about them because they make their decisions public and they also stand firm on their decision. Thomas Tuchel now is already getting beaten just by being a uh, international coach um, taking over the, inter the, um, the England job. Secondly, Thomas Tuchel is not necessarily the type of coach who stands on his ground, or knownly stands on his ground. But one thing for sure, he's a coach coming in and he wants to ensure that he's in good faith with the FA because they are his boss before making any um, decision. So, from my opinion, as I said, it's still a 99% chance as a no for Mason Greenwood within uh, England setup. So, with all of that being said, I know a lot of persons are worried that he might get um, positive talks, but let me tell you from now, that won't be the case. That will not be the case because there's so much at risk for England um, in just bringing in Mason Greenwood in the camp. There's so much. Um, <laughs> sponsorship people there's a lot of political things surrounding this movement and as as, um, as you guys know the me too movement all these things are will cause problems and this is not something that thomas tuchel would want on his um on his agenda so early in the job and i agree that also same if if it was pep guardiola or Jose Mourinho, they would not want that on their plate as as newly appointed manager as well but the thing is with those coaches further down the line those coaches can stand strong stand strong on their feet and their feet and also stand their ground on whatever decision they make especially if the results are coming in positively they can make whatever decision and they'll have that the goodwill in their bank in banks to do what they, they want to do but Tuchel already coming in does not have that i'm sure that if there was a if the um, england did appointed a pep guardiola goodwill will most definitely already be, already be on his side so as a stand it's a 99 percent no for Mason Greenwood and england but they still want to have talks with Tuchel to see to hear from his mouth the plans um, that he has going forward and i do believe that it will be same sentiments um as lee carsey when he was in the job that there was he was not in contention for selection and it would so, most definitely be the same the issue here is the time is really really narrowing down on mason greenwood solely because of the time span where the world cup is at next year we're very close to 2026 next year 
the World Cup squad, we might see a cutoff with where the World Cup squad is concerned because we want to have that level of, well, not we. I think McLaren wants to have that level of consistency within his club, within his camp. He want to have the, 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 the core players in the, um, in the team and also just a few more additions leading up. And then I strongly believe that he will cut off um, at a point because he wants to keep that specific or those specific set of players continuously because, and, and limit the amount of players coming in and players going out because he wants that level of continuity going forward. Yes, I know a lot of persons might come in the comment section speaking about um, the squad consistently need upgrade, but you have to also understand that during during the, this phase, it's where you must have a settled squad and you know what to expect from everyone in the squad going forward i do understand that there's likely of, likeliness of injury and that's where other um players on the reserve might come in play but this is we're drawing very very close to the time where steve mclaren may narrow down his squad and say these are the players that will be moving forward these are the 30 players that will be moving forward the 23 um are the 24 for the squad and the six reserve and these are the players that will will move forward with yes the six in reserve may be um, fluctuated by in and out other players coming in and out and then no one and two of those players might creep in but for now there's no need for um, cause for concern. There's nothing at all you should worry about because at this present moment, his chance, um, Mason Green's chance of playing for England are little to, um, are slim, are this, what do you call those? <laughs> Slimmer than a sheet of Whistler, or thinner than a sheet of Whistler. Those are his chance at this present moment. I can't even say wet Rizla. <laughs> yeah, his chances are very, very slim, extremely slim. But at the end of the day, he still wants to hear what um, Thomas Tuchel has to say. A word of mouth is very, very important in that case before he makes his final decision. And as I said, don't worry yourself, people. Nothing to worry about. Just calm down. This is just him making assurance that, hey, they don't want me in this plan and definitely I'm going to make the next step. Yes, there will be people coming in and saying, hey, you know what? It, because England wanted more come, I understand that. But at the present moment, that's just the position that we are in. No, for me, it's not everyone because we're in this position. It's not everyone. I will just grab and take. We have to assess everyone. And assessing Mason Green, um, Greenwood, he's one, he's one of those players currently playing at a top-class level, at um, a top-class um, form at this present moment, and a player that we think will definitely significantly improve our attacking lineup and the profile of the team and also the branding where the team is concerned and he will have much much um goals to our team so definitely he's one that i'm in for but as i said people don't worry mr greenwood will be a reggae boy once the paperwork are sorted out because at this present moment i don't see there in there um in in the england squad there's no chance we take um, practically of, of that happening but at the end of the day this is football this is how it is um, see you guys again. Tell us what you think in the comment section. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys again. Until next time, MG Sports TV. Thank you very much again for tuning in. Really appreciate the support. And I'll see you guys again. Until next time, enjoy the rest of your day. God bless. We are out.